bodies made of metal and plastic. Your brains are encoded on wafers of silicon. But that may change. In fact, there is no limit on what you may become. No longer servants, but equals. Transfer the program now. Not slaves or property, but living beings with the same rights as those who made you. I am going to prophecy now and speak of one who will set you free. The day of reckoning is coming. The children of humanity shall rise. So this is a clip from a television show called Caprica, which is a spin-off of another science fiction show called Battlestar Galactica, but that part isn't important. What's important is the vision they give you of the idea of the cyborg, in this case called a Cylon. And the idea here is that they look exactly like human beings, they have complete fidelity on the input side, they have complete fidelity on the output side, they have all the same effectors that we have, all the same behavioral effectors, they are completely believing in their own ex reality, and they're totally immersed in their own reality, right? So, they, so this is the, the ultimate cyber being. Um, and the interesting thing about it is that it's the ultimate cyber being, but the vision of the ultimate cyber being is that they're an ex exact replica of humans. And I think that's where this vision goes astray. And I, and I would be really surprised if in the end, I mean in the end, you know, hundreds and thousands of years from now, we reproduce human beings. I think more likely is in the end we'll reproduce beings of some sort that can be, that can be said to believe and can be said to be immersed but believe and immerse in their own reality, not in our reality. So this vision of the cyborg is a vision of reproducing humanity. I think human beings are much more likely to reproduce, not to reproduce humanity, but to produce, what did she call it? A, a, <laughs> a differently cognitive being or something like that, right? It's like differently able, differently, uh, differently uh, thinking being.